and welcome everybody here on twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some more mother's ramp we got a donation deck to play today we got two donation decks to play this and then Librom later on um, that's what the two d's mean here these are viewer submitted decks uh, if you're somebody who watches on youtube and you want me to play your deck in five games in masters and also make a youtube video for it it's just a $10 donation, and the donation link is in the video description. But yeah, we're going to go play an old classic War Mother's Ramp. We do only have one War Mother's Call at the top, which is what we are ramping into. And we only have two Catalyst of Aeons in the deck. Um, but besides that, we have you know pretty standard War Mother's R Ramp. Uh, kind of thing so basically i was saying it's not a whole lot of ramp i do kind of wish just kind of looking at the deck list here i do wish that we do ha did have the third catalyst um but we'll see how it plays you know maybe it'll still play pretty good like maybe we won't really have time to do that because we're going to be wanting to play like grasp and withering whale and stuff like that we do have a whole bunch of top end here with soul gorgers three anivia three trindamir even two rasas two rekindlers whole bunch of top end which is really what you want in a War Mother's Call deck. Um, ew, even a Ledros, even. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we got a lot up here. Um, our deck's going to be weak to a couple of things, like Ionia in particular is usually a deck that's really good against this kind of stuff, like um, Deny for like these Ruinations and War Mother's Call. It looks like we're really relying on Ruination, by the way, with three of them. And like Will of Ionia to bounce our stuff would be sad as well. But we got some power, we got some sweet things that we can do, and so let's play some games and hope it hope it works out. You know, like let's let's have some good luck today. Let's have some good luck. Alright, here we go. So yeah, we're gonna be playing this, we're gonna be playing Vimerdinger Control, Demacia Sacrifice, and then LeBrom. LeBron James. Okay, let's get started. We got Vimerdinger up first, which is the next deck that we're going to be playing after this. All right, we'll get rid of our seven drops and our opener, and I don't know. is Hapless Aristocrat really a threat that's going to be doing a lot for us? Nope. We still ended up with one anyway. I must get out of here. But basically, it's just not going to make that big of a difference. This is really a defensive card for us. Well, we got a bunch of five mana spells, but not the one that I want. The one that I want being Catalyst of Aeons, of course. Never mind, the Grass of the Undying was good. That's good, getting that uh, removal spell for that Solitary Monk right away. It is raining here today. <laughs> Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Dang. Yeah, it seemed to yeah, it seems pretty aggressive pretty aggressive line that they're taking. Yeah, incredibly aggressive line. Sorry, not pretty aggressive. Incredibly aggressive. 
grasping claws. Yeah, I, I wouldn't use I wouldn't have used Flash of Brilliance myself either. Yeah, but we definitely know they don't have Heimerdinger in hand. That's that's true. Because they absolutely would not if they had Heimerdinger in hand. But either way, like I wouldn't have been playing it if it were me. I've been saving it. Here comes the punchline. This card's really good. Take a while. So I talked about the, at the beginning. The deck's really bad against Will of Ionia. They're out of Will of Ionia's. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. I wish I had sixteen mana next turn and I could double Battle Fury. with a Rasa. Maybe nothing, maybe something. Live to fight. Spring does not pity winter. Spring raindrops. I, I can't really imagine that this, that this is going to work and that my Ross is just going to kill a Vi and a Heimerdinger. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to try. enemies so they keep by oh no I did that's right nothing died oh no Trinomir doesn't count as dead no first day of the game the first game of the day I always mess something up first game of the day <laughs> no not dead Best in me. That seems like a really tough matchup, just in general. I mean, even if I would have taken like whatever line I would have taken, we would have lost. Even if I would have tried to gain, you know, gain three life with the grass, the undying, and they would have like their other turrets that would have uh, won and everything like that. Yeah. 
Oh, the yeah, the control decks are that Vimerdinger that we just played against is really good. Um, control control decks are the the best decks in this game. Wrong side. Zero one. Yeah, Karma is is definitely amazing. You know, like Karma Lux, Karma Thrash, Karma Ezreal. Lots and lots of uh, good control decks to play. There's Karina Control. See the Devastian Order from here. Look out for Reavers. Better run. So, as far as like the, there you go, Riot Veil. That's like the that's Mobile Addicts' meta tier list, which is well put together. I want to cast Grass the Undying, but I, I feel like they're going to have Noxion Fervor. Which they do. How they didn't play anything on like the three mana, they definitely represented having Noxion Fervor. Ooh, that's a that's a great last breath card to hit. Um, besides Mobile Addicts Riot Veil, the other um, site that I use that I recommend for checking out um, uh, decks is decksofrunterra.com. Just so much damage. Better run. <laughs> it is not easy beating beating you know three they've had three boom crew rookie attacks so far. Obviously, we're never going to play this Caustic Cask. Ooh, okay, that's more life gain. That's good. But then yeah, but then yeah, Rival. Right, then of course just the YouTube channel. I got you know lots and lots of control decks on there Let me show you I that I like quite a bit.
The Soul Gorger is looking good. I haven't really seen this card work. It's usually been too slow, but we had a lot of uh, good cheap stuff before it. So they have uh, two, four, five damage automatically. So I'm at six life. So if they have something like a Noxion Fervor, I'm only I'm going down to three. Oh, yell ruination, and then just kill the soul, kill the soul gorger. Take two, go to nine. Could be the play. They should like they're they're dead this next turn. Like they have to kill me this turn, and they can't, right? Like, with one card, they can't, because I'm going to be at six. Like, I don't think they have anything that does six damage. Even if, even if they get rid of, even if, like, they have their best case scenario is Noxion Fervor. Their absolute best case scenario is Noxion Fervor. And even if they have that, I go down to three. And then I can just, you know, attack with Commander Ledros or have Atrocity, you know, kill them with Atrocity. Like, if they don't have Noxion Fervor, they're in a ton of trouble. Yeah, so we, we have this game. What's up, WQ? Happy weekend. Happy Saturday. Gaining three, taking two. So gaining a life. I probably should atrocity before damage and not let the Ledros turn into a three toughness thing. And also not let you know not let this thing die. So yeah, I should just I should just atrocity after blocks. But I mean this game's over. Ready to mark this down as a win. There. When you're playing Burn, don't you just want to go to the next game? I'll try to. You know, Get your rank going, you know, you don't need to waste all the time. Alright. And wait. Alright, one and one. 
No Will of Ionia. We have to cast two plus spells in the same round. Raining hard outside. All right, looks like we're playing some scouts. Ruination's good to have against the scouts, but it's. I'm not going to keep it in my opener. Um, I'm not going to keep that either. It's slow, it's easy for them to see coming, it's easy to, like, Ruination's easy to play around. You don't want to just, like, sit there and do nothing for a while and just Ruination and think that you're going to win, because you want Ruination really late whenever they're, like, out of cards. So, therefore, I'm... We got three in the deck, so it's not like, it's not like I, I only have the one and I need to rely on having that one. We got three in the deck. Yeah, I agree, BJJ. They could have conceded to save time. Let's get to the next. Guys, but not that. Rank, but decided not to. Hmm. So how about these uh, four cards that we've drawn? <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, and twelve mana. I don't think that's going to do it. Well, that was a good seven mana card to draw. I'll be damned. As far as seven mana cards go. You're covered. Feel the seed up, friend. Please, I have connections. Alright, so we'll Vile Feast the other part of this protector. And we found another Ruination anyway. Next turn would be the first turn that we could play Ruination. Thanks, BJJ. Yeah, it feels nice getting a haircut. Soldier, to me. Bye, soldiers. Just play four four rekindler. Show them what we're made of. I'm fine. I'm fine with just trading one for one. The more trades we can do for one for one, the better. Dang, I got really greedy with Raza. I thought that if I passed, maybe they'd play something else. Greedy with that Rasa. 
fortune favors the bold. Interesting. Rasa. I think we're about to be two and one. My opponent's probably not too happy. I, I did silence them, just like they silenced my Commander Ledros. We gotta get the sweet War Mother's Call animation out here. War Mother's Call! We each died and found hope. <laughs> well, haven't had a champion die yet. Warm Mother's Call hasn't been the best, but that's okay. Alright, GG's. That was a perfect ruination. Perfect ruination. I think we had, and then we had the, the Vengeance draw also. That Vengeance draw was big. as well. Alright, we're two and one. How's the sound today with the microphone a little bit farther away and also with the gain turned down? Those of y'all watching on YouTube, I know the, the videos yesterday didn't have the best sound and I've been working on some today and I'm going to be and I'm going to work on it a lot more tomorrow. Um, and definitely after the changes tomorrow, it should be better. From people on Twitch say the sound the sounds a lot better than what it sounds like than the sound on YouTube. So it's just kind of it's kind of weird that something's happening like that on YouTube, but I'm working on it and we'll we'll have it figured out shortly. But hopefully it's still just better today. Hello. So I feel like this could be a tough matchup. Because we're both trying just to play a long game and play huge things. But they have Maokai that eliminates the deck. And that's the X factor here. Oh. 
Don't vile feast my aristocrat. Let's see if that ends up being a good play or not. Now I don't get to Catalyst of Aeons the next turn, and, you know, good chance I should just have Catalyst of Aeons up and ready to go. Gain three life, go to 20. I honestly like the life total cap. You don't just have games where people go to 50, 60, 70 life and then they take forever to end. I actually like that. Do not want that thing hitting me and them drawing cards. Wow. The missed call. Wow, get me with that missed call. Still a chance I fire off Ruination, but I guess I really don't need to. Hmm. Passing at six. So we are away from that Abyssal Eye turning into a 6-6, but we're going to try to grasp the Undying that thing again. don't like that that takes up my whole turn. Wish I had something better to play. Ah, speaking of better to play. Let's go with this Trindomir. What if they pass? And they have this 11 mana they don't use. Do I pass back? And not let them play stuff after post combat. I think I do. Because I'm not killing them this turn, but I could potentially kill them next turn. Like, you know, Ledros is still going to... I can play Ledros, then I untap, and I attack, and I have this with Battle Fury. Hmm. 
And I don't have to really worry about Ruination. Because Trindamir just levels up and I put Ledros back into hand. Slightly annoying. Oh man, the plays, the plays, the plays. What do we do? Leveled up a Nivea attack. War Mother's Call. Battle Fury. Alright, we're gonna attack here. Oh, they could have Riptide. I was thinking they couldn't have anything to stop this Trindamir from killing them, but I guess they could have Riptide. But some of these sea monster decks are playing that as like a one of. Don't don't just have a Riptide. Just just game over. Concede. Yay. And we are three and one. With War Mother's Ramp. How about that? How about that? Let's go. One more. Let's try to get that four and one. Let's try to get that four and one. Okay, Fiora Zed. This is going to be a tough matchup. There's an Ionia deck. I think I'm only getting all of these. Like, I just, I don't think I want to keep any of them. Even Grass just feels... Uh, like if they have standalone, Grass wasn't going to work. And it's a lot of mana. I don't, I just don't know, like, the... The thing about Mulligan Grass would... It's like, what am I really looking for? Probably Vengeance is, is what I want the most. I guess. Like, Catalyst of Aeons and Vengeance. But Grass was probably better than a random card, so therefore I should probably be keeping it. We 
have grass. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. We can deal with Fiora. Fiora's not bad. It's like, you know, Zed and Solitary Monk. That's the problem. Fiora, not really a problem. Um, do I even cast this? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe don't. I think I may want to save that for Solitary Monk or Zed. I don't, Fiora's not a problem. Because I can just do this stuff for a while. Sacrifice my own things. Found a catalyst. Yeah, Glimpse Beyond's good against Fiora, but besides that, you know, Zed and Solitary Monk were the cards I was scared of, so I didn't keep Glimpse Beyond. Because they just go, you know, like one of those things plus, uh, plus standalone. Glimpse Beyond's not really doing anything. Hey, Blade. Going great. Speaking of not really doing anything. They have 10 cards in hand. But yeah, I'd expect them to play something. Slightly weird not to do that pre-combat, right? Probably slightly weird. So, Sursla, where's the second part? The, the then I win. Where's that second part? Oh, also, Sursla, you had a donation deck with the Endure Mist Wraith. Did you? Okay, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you were watching after that, um, and you're saying like maybe tomorrow for the donation deck. I actually have. I actually have like basically that same donation deck for tomorrow from somebody else uh, in the first slot tomorrow. So I prefer to move you to either Monday or Tuesday, if possible, so I don't have, like, the same deck twice. And and so if one of those days would work better for you than the other, um, you know, let me know. Monday, I'm going to be doing an early stream Monday. Either, like, early stream Monday or regular stream Tuesday. Either of those days work for you. Okay, anytime. I guess, do you have a preference on those? Either early stream Monday or late or regular stream Tuesday? It's a good draw. I play Harsh Winds, I only have six more mana, so I don't get to... Uh, I, don't know, I guess I could play it with Grasp the Undying. I 
Also, I should just War Mother's Call this turn. I also want to play Ledros. That'd be pretty cool. Sure. All you're doing is just three damage, the Anivia. Gosh, I just feel like I have a free Ledros. I mean, I guess I could War Mother's Call, though. No, let's just Ledros. Just, you know, setting up like Atrocity. And also, yeah, setting up Anivia attacking for two. Next gotta be real aggressive, but as you can tell, Fiora, not the threat you really want against a deck that doesn't have many creatures and plays Glimpse Beyond. Alright, but anyway, we went 4-1 and one with War Mother's Ramp. How about that? Um, I, I do think that there should be the third Catalyst of Aeons in here. And maybe a, maybe a second Atrocity. Atrocity looked good. But then it's like, what to take out? I'd maybe play a second Atrocity over a Rasa. I was like, Rasa has like some high upside, but you probably don't need two Rasas, especially when you already have three Trindomirs in the eight mana slot. Um, to fit a Catalyst in here, I'm not sure. I guess it would maybe be over one of the one drops but maybe not the one drops are really good like the, the thing about one drops is you you want to have a one drop for early protection because then on turn three you'd still have five mana after you, you don't play anything on turn two and then with turn three you'd still have five mana for catalyst grasp withering whale that's important it's like i guess maybe the century i don't know i don't know exactly what we would take out for that to get that catalyst in here though. Um, did War Mothers summon anything worth the 12 mana? Not in those games, no. Not in those games, but it can in other games. Like it's it's also it's a one of that costs 12 mana. You're not gonna get it's not gonna look great every single game because it is just a one of. Um Oh yeah, that's his ye yesterday sub goal. Right, I didn't reset that. Forgot about that. My bad. There we go. Um, is three ruination overkill? Perhaps, but it is really good. Definitely was the reason why we won that Demacia game. But perhaps. Yeah, so we're... I don't know. I just want to fit a third Catalyst of Aeons in here, but I'm not exactly sure where. It's... I mean, I basically would like the third Catalyst over every card. Like, I, I would rather have it than over any of these, but it's just it's just the exact which which one to take out is kind of hard to say. I guess if you just start... If you just play one Atrocity, I would take out the Ross. I would take out the second Rasa for the third, for the Catalyst. Like, I would, I would do that. So I guess I guess that's where we'd start. Is I would just take out the second Rasa, play a third Catalyst, and then you can kind of go from there. If you want to fit an Atrocity and over something else, then you can do that, and so on. Um. But yeah, worked worked very well. All right, so that's our first deck of the day. Thank you. The viewer submitted this deck list right here. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. I'd appreciate both of those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some War Mother's Ramp, and I'll see you for the next video.